good afternoon YouTubers. This is Mark coming at you live again <laughs> from the Beaver Cemetery. Now the story that I'm going to relate to you is an experience that I had in this cemetery but before I get into that I want to wish everybody a, a berated happy Halloween. I hope you guys were safe. I hope you had a good time. Today is All Saints Day. Tomorrow is All Souls Day. Prayers for the dead. Prayers for the living. It is a very divine slash paranormal celebration going on right now so this kind of coincides with what I'm about to tell you but before I get into that I, I, I want to give you this panoramic view if you will I want you to pay very close attention here I want you to follow my fingers and hands here this is a very wide part of the beaver cemetery it's huge okay it extends all the way down there okay it goes all the way up here. And I want you to concentrate on how wide this is. Now, this incident took place early in the, back in the spring. And I didn't tell you about it because I wanted to wait for the right time. And obviously I feel that this is the right time to tell it. But I had a very strange paranormal experience that just really, really freaked me out. But before I get into that, again, I want you to appreciate just how wide this view is. Now, keep in mind, this is early spring when this incident occurred. There would be no foliage on the trees, so you would see a lot better than you're seeing now. But it's very wide. There's really no places for you to hide, even when you're walking or when you're driving or when you're riding a bicycle. This is in the back of the Beaver Cemetery. This is the newest part of the cemetery. And this is going to be the last part of the cemetery because once this is all filled up, the cemetery will close permanently. And based on my research, they have about another hundred years before that happens, give or take. But the incident occurred right here on this road. Now, there's another road over here. This is the last road here. This is the back road. That's the last road before you hit that wall over there that goes out into the highway where the old uh, Westinghouse is still in operation, which is now Eaton. But this is the road that it happened on, but I was not on this road. I was up here, and I'm going to show you exactly where I was at. We're going to charge through the graveyard here. I'm here doing research at that particular day. It was rather cold outside. There wasn't a lot of people around. And I'm taking notes. I'm, you know, photographing tombstones, putting some more information on my Google Beaver Cemetery page that I've linked several times on my videos, as you know. So I'm about right here. And like I said, I'm doing stuff. I, I, I'm doing simultaneous things. I'm trying to research a couple of names. I'm taking pictures of, of more stones. And something out of nowhere captures my attention. I'm about right here. Because I remember this stone right here. This like kind of heart-shaped stone right in front of me there. That black one right there. Right there. Right there. That one right there. Okay. The tree that's right here, about right there where that crossroad meets for this road to commence, all this way, okay, right where that little mausoleum is there, that family, it's a family, it's a doctor that's buried there. He was a prominent doctor in Beaver. A girl is walking on this road. She's about right there, she starts. And she's dressed a little bit weird. It's not, uh, 19th century or 18th century, but she has this dress on. She has like this long coat on. There's just something seems off about her. And I stop for a few seconds and I stare at her and I'm thinking to myself, it's really strange because I, I just had established a connection that indicated to me there was just something not right about her. Nothing malevolent or anything like that. I, I you know, I, I wasn't afraid, but I was alarmed and she continues to walk so i i don't think nothing of it a few seconds later i turn my attention to something that i'm doing over here looking at tombstones or whatever doing my photographs i wasn't making a video that day and instinctively i go back around again and about right here it's very difficult for me i'm sorry if my fingers off but it's right there in front of the road she stops as if she's frozen in time 
and she looks up at me and she starts to stare at me and she gives me a look like what are you doing here that was the presence that I had gotten from her as if though she was disturbed that I was actually here doing whatever it is that I was doing and I don't think she even had a clue what I was doing now again I can't place enough emphasis on this folks omit the foliage that you still see on these trees okay this is a very wide view of the cemetery if a car comes from all the way down there and drives up and goes all the way over here there's nothing there it cannot be hidden you see a person walking right there I can see him as clear as day just like I saw this young lady here who continued to stare at me very intently there's no escape you can't just up and vanish that's the point that I'm trying to make okay just look you can't hide you just can't unless you hide behind a tombstone okay but this young lady continued to walk on the road so let's do this let's continue to walk now focus on the road just focus on this road okay so I'm not doing this I'm just trying to give you the example I'm trying to paint the scenario I keep walking over towards here I'm looking at a few graves in this area of the cemetery here and to give you an idea where we're at that's the older part of the cemetery up there there's a chapel straight ahead if you can see it it's kind of sunny out right now so it's very bright out here okay so that's where we're at here let me do a 360 for you just so you, you get a better idea of you know my my location and how this story plays out okay okay back to the road I walk a few more feet I'm about maybe right here not precisely not exactly but I'd say I'm about right here my attention was caught by one of these graves <clears throat> and I began to look right over there still this young lady is staring at me intently and by now I'm getting alarmed I'm like okay what is this all about what, what, what is it what is exactly going on here why is she staring at me do I know this young lady she looked to be about late 20s early 30s I wouldn't say she was more than 31 long dark hair I couldn't tell about her eyes but her skin looked really pale she looked like she was almost white ghostly not exactly you know bone white but she looked really pale in comparison to most young women you know she it, it appeared like she just was absent of a complexion and I'm looking at her and I'm like okay I wanted to approach her but something told me no don't do that just leave it alone just leave it alone and she'll go away okay so let's just concentrate on this little area where the Papin mausoleum is over there for you folks who live in Beaver County you know who Lou Papin is that's where him and his family is going to be buried let's just concentrate on this area here because now she stops looking at me and she continues to walk now she's walking very slow but she continues to walk she doesn't move from this road she doesn't go into the section over there where the other graves are at she doesn't do any of that stuff okay so I keep walking I don't really have my eye on her because I'm about to look at another grave here and I'm trying to you know I've got this duality going on right now about who this girl is and why she's staring at me and I'm trying to do my own research that I needed to do here which brought me here out here in the first place okay so I stop I look at what I'm doing I take my mental notes or whatever I take a couple of photographs I don't think more than 20 seconds have passed guys okay not not even I, I wouldn't even say 15 I look she's gone she's gone there is no traces of her it is as though she had never existed in the first place now I submit to you one more time I don't mean to insult anybody's intelligence but this is a very wide view of the cemetery there is no way this young lady could have disappeared that quick in less than 20 seconds without me seeing her walking over there or in any direction she choose to go it's impossible there's no way she could have disappeared like that that fast there's no way but that's exactly what happened she was gone she was gone as though, though I I had seen a mirage this cemetery is known 
for ghostly apparitions. That is to say, people, not only myself, <laughs> I, I, I suppose maybe I'm the first to make a video about this, but I am not the only one who has seen people and all of a sudden they're just gone, they vanish. I've heard it from several people who walk the cemetery on a daily basis where they have seen people walking behind them or walking in front of them and then they take their eyes off them for a few seconds and boom, all of a sudden they're not even there anymore. What happened? This really blew my mind. It took me a long time to process exactly what happened in the cemetery. I am convinced that I, I seen a ghost. I am, I am utterly convinced nobody's ever going to change my mind about it. So I go to my fiance's house and I tell her what happened. She's like, was you in the Beaver Cemetery? I said, yes, that's where it occurred. She's like, the Beaver Cemetery is full of ghosts who walk around and all of a sudden vanish. I hope you guys had a safe Halloween. I hope you enjoyed the story. You decide. Stay safe.